Hello everyone. Let us discuss about law of conservation of energy with a small example. Here we have a tall structure like this with an inclined plane. This is ground. This structure is say h meter high. Consider this to be 10 meter. Now there is a small ball placed at the top of this structure. The mass of this ball is say 1 kilogram. Let us consider the acceleration due to gravity g to be 10 meter per second square. Precisely it is 9.8 but 10 would be more suitable for doing the numericals. This is point A, the highest point above the ground. Apply a very small amount of force on this ball. So this ball, ball is going to roll down the inclined plane and finally reach over here. After some time, by after exerting a small amount of force, the ball reaches somewhere over here. It is going to roll down like this. Say this is height 5 meters from the ground. This is point B and finally this ball rolls down and comes on the ground at point C. This point is C on the ground. Now we know that kinetic energy is given by half m v square where v is the speed of the object. Kinetic energy of the body is due to the virtues of its motion. We know that potential energy P is given by m g h. This is gravitational potential energy. m stands for mass, g for acceleration due to gravity, h stands for height above the ground. Okay. For point A, if we calculate kinetic energy, so kinetic energy at A that is equal to half mv square that is half into m is 1 kilogram speed is 0. Consider this ball to be at rest. So its speed is 0, 0 meter per second whole square. So kinetic energy at A is 0. Potential energy at A is given by m g h that is equal to 1 kilogram 10 meter per second square into height at A is 10 meters. So 10 meter and we get potential energy at A to be 10 into 10 that is 100 kg meter square upon second square is joule. So kinetic energy, the sum of kinetic and potential at A is called mechanical energy that is 0 joule plus 100 joule. So your sum is 100 joule. So total energy at point A at a height 10 meter above the ground of body at rest is 100 joule. This is called mechanical energy. So this is, these are all the calculations for point A. Let us consider the same situation but for ball at position B. Now when the ball slides down, it will have gained some speed when it reaches at point B. But since the ball came down, the height of the ball decreased. So for B, potential energy at B that is equal to m g h that is 1 kg into 10 meter per second square into height at B is 5 meter and we get our answer as 50 joule. Earlier it was 
100 joule now the potential energy reduced to half of its value at the top where is that energy gone this 50 joules of energy got converted into kinetic energy because the total amount of energy at any given point whether it is a b or c remains constant so here total energy is kinetic plus potential kinetic is zero potential was 100 so the sum was 100 here also the sum should remain 100 and here also the sum should remain 100 we are not going to consider any frictional forces over here which leads to the loss of energy in form of heat we have not considered that over here so the total energy remains constant here here and here so that means the sum of kinetic and potential should be 100 but potential is 50 so the kinetic energy at point b of the ball should also be 50 so that the sum maintains to be 100 so these are the calculations for point b for point c c is on the ground so here the height is zero so for c potential energy at c that is equal to m g h mass is 1 kg g is 10 m per second square and height is 0 m so the potential energy is 0 joule the sum should always remain 100 joule so that means as we go down from higher height to lower height the potential energy got decreased from 100 to 50 and from 50 to 0 and the kinetic energy increased from 0 to 50 and now 50 to at this point the kinetic energy at c would be 100 joule it is because the sum at all points must remain constant these are the calculations at point c we might wonder what is the speed at b and what is the speed of the object of this ball at point c we now know that the kinetic energy at a was zero that was the speed of the ball was zero now kinetic energy is highest out of all these values this is zero here it we have 50 joules and here we have 100 joules so since the kinetic energy is highest at point c so that means the speed of the ball would be highest make sure we also have one component as mass but mass of the ball is not changing anywhere so if the kinetic energy is increasing that is purely due to the increase in the speed let us calculate the kinetic energy at point b we know that kinetic energy at b that is equal to half into m into v square and we know that that is 50 joule so kinetic energy at point b is 50 joule so let us substitute the value over here and half mass is 1 kg and v we don't know 50 joule now joule is kg meter square upon second square this two goes over here kg kg gets cancelled so v square is equal to 100 meter square upon second square by taking square root on both sides we get v is equal to 10 meter per second okay let us also find out the kinetic energy at point c so kinetic energy at c that is half into m into v square that is kinetic energy at c we have as 100 joule again kg meter square upon second square this is half into 1 kg into v square that is 100 kg meter square upon second square now this kg kg gets cancelled we can see that v square value turns out to be 200 meter square upon second square we know that kinetic energy from the previous sheet at point c was 100 joule and speed 
turned out to be meter square upon second square. This was V square. Now, V is equal to under root of 200 meter square upon second square. This can be written as 2 into 100 meter square upon second square, which can be written as 10 root 2 meter per second. This was the speed at point C. From the previous sheet, we can just compare here the kinetic energy was 50 joule, here the kinetic energy was 100 joule. So, we can say that if the kinetic energy gets doubled, then the speed of the object which was 10 meter per second got increased by root 2. So, when kinetic energy gets doubled, the speed increases by root 2 times. And we can also state that as the ball goes down, the potential energy decreases and kinetic energy increases and the, when the ball keeps on going down and down, its speed will increase, increase and the speed of the ball would be maximum at this particular point. Highest kinetic energy over here, highest potential energy over here, but everywhere the sum is going to be the same only.